Hi, I'm Peter Wilcox, Captain of the Rainbow Warrior and author of Greenpeace Captain by Thomas Dunn Books coming out April 2016. The single event that probably changed me to an activist was joining my father in the 1965 Selma to Montgomery Civil Rights March. Uh, we flew down and met the march in Montgomery the night they had a rally and then joined it to go into uh, Montgomery the next day. Uh, there was a tremendous feeling of optimism in the air. You have to remember at the time that in Lowndes County, Alabama, where one of the counties the march had gone through, there were no African Americans registered to vote and 120 percent of the white population was registered to vote. And the march was aimed at getting voting rights to the African Americans in the South, and it worked. And as I said, there was just this tremendous feeling of optimism and we can do this and it was a feeling I loved and I wanted more of. I think anytime you're doing an action, there are always second doubts about breaking the law, going to jail, getting huge fines, should we do it? And when you're in the middle of the action and you've been up for two or three days in a row and, and things are getting hard and the police are threatening you, you can always find an excuse for backing down. And there have been a few times we've done that, and I've regretted those later. Uh, today, when there's such an impending catastrophe from global warming, it's just not a time we can back down. The reason I wanted to write the book at this point was because I've been so really worried about the effects that climate change is going to have on us. And I also, at this point in my life, I'm in my 60s, I want to share with people how doing something can make a positive influence on your life. And uh, it's those two things, the, the environmental dangers that are threatening us and the enjoyment, the benefits I've gotten from leading the kind of life I have that I want to share it with people. I was working on the Clearwater in New York doing environmental education in the 1970s and I read Bob Hunter's book Warriors of the Rainbow and I was absolutely intrigued by the nonviolent direct action. It just resonated within me. Uh, it reminded me of my civil rights experience which was minimal but important and no doubt it had an effect and uh, it wasn't until I saw an advertisement for Greenpeace in 1981 that I actually thought I could join. But the idea of, of physically doing something to affect an issue just, just moved me and that's, uh, that book probably showed me as much as anything about how my, my life could be. Global warming is not some distant threat that may affect our children. It's going to affect our lives and we have to do something about it. The greatest impact a single person can have is by getting off the couch and that's really the whole reason I wrote this book. I wanted to inspire people to do something. That's the critical issue. Now, if you don't vote, you can't complain. That's rule number one. And after that, anything a person can do, whether it's writing letters, whether it's buying a car, not because it's the biggest you can afford, but because it gets the best gas mileage, whether it's voting for officials that are going to change the system, whether it's joining a group, whether it's cleaning up the trash in front of your house. The point of my book is that any step you take is going to make you feel better as a person. If you have a different way of relating to your environment and your world other than just trying to pay the bills, it'll make for a more rewarding life. And that's what, that's what the book is about.